My name is James Williams Jr. This is Kung Fu Headbutt number two. I'm also going to post this up on Facebook. And I want to do this now while it's quiet in the house and before things go incredibly wrong. I've been watching a lot of things on Facebook. I can't really say I've been watching. I've been reading rather. And I've been looking at a lot of things on Facebook involving a lot of Native American stuff. All right, being that I'm partially Native American, you can understand that this stuff is kind of important to me. Okay? So, being that I'm partially Native American and Native American stuff is really important to me, I figured I'd go on and do this report. Who's haired? All right? There are a lot of things in the Native American community that is important to me. There's a lot of things that I like to reach out and help them with and they can help me. We can help each other. And I'm down. I need a job. You know, as like public relations. I like to talk a lot. So, and I'm very long-winded. So you guys can send me. Give me a job. And I'll do what I can. I'll bust my ass every day to get this out there to help the Native American people. Especially since part of my ancestryhood is from the Cherokee clans in Virginia. Now, you know. I've watched a lot of the pictures and poetry and stuff like that, and I feel strong in my Native American ties. Granted, I'm not a part of the Cherokee Nation. I need to know how to join them and get that shit over with and, you know, represent part of my heritage. And I call them my people in a lot of my, you know, comments and tags. They are my people. I'm just not a full-blooded Cherokee Indian, but I'm still part of them. Or my ancestors rolling around in her grave in um, Poe White. Anyway, or Pow Height, however the hell you say it. Anyway, the the tribal thing has really been been affecting me, you know. And it's it's like it's it's like a calling. I don't really know how to describe the feeling that it gives me, but it's like a calling. And I see these warriors and these great pictures and these great sayings and poetry, and it's like. I gotta get involved in this, you know. I was hoping to one day be a famous actor and um, teach kung fu for free. That, like I said, isn't really happening, and Hollywood's definitely not knocking down my fucking door. Not a lot of roles for half breeds, you know. And if they are, they aren't given to real or actual half breeds. They're given to people who are white and can pass, or maybe they are third or fourth or whatever. They might look a little less Native American to me, or they give it to an Asian person who can fill the bill, who actually can act. All right, hey, I ain't knocking it. I ain't even mad at it, you know what I'm saying? Native American people, we come in many shades and colors. All right? So, you know, I just want to get this out here that my feelings for my culture is extremely strong. I have strong feelings for my black culture. And as I have made the comment to a blind lady at work today, you know, when I watch the news, I generally watch it to make sure that somebody in my black culture hasn't done anything stupid so I can still go out and shop. And we tend to do a lot of stupid shit as black people that just, for some reason, it really catches the attentions of others. And in our nigger moments, it kind of fucks it up for everyone else. And I don't want to do that. And I don't want the Native Americans or the black people looking at me like, Oh, well, what side are you on? I'm on my side, all right? I went through this as a kid in school where we had a race war and stuff. I've told you guys that there's plenty of be times before, you know, where you're not a real nigger, you're a half nigger, or, you know, you're not Native American enough. I never had an issue with Native American people outside of the um, wheelchair basketball team that came here, and the guy in the lead of that, like, really pissed me off, you know, and... He was in a wheelchair, so it wasn't like it was going to be proper for me to just go on a warpath with this motherfucker and whip his ass. That would have changed absolutely nothing. He still would have hated me regardless. You know, prejudice and racism come in everybody, all right? Everybody has a little bit of prejudice in them or a little bit of racism. Whether they want to admit it or not, it's a whole nother ballgame. I don't have that right because I come from the three primary races that formed this country. And for those who don't know, and I've told you this 175,000 times, and I'll tell you again, if you are Native American, your ass is Asian, whether you want to accept it or not, is on you, all right? I had to have it proven to me by a Korean, so, and he's the son of a preacher. So, in Kwan, thank you. And you know, the thing is, and it was way back in my 20s in college, you know, 
Accepting it was the one thing that I had to learn how to do. And if you go back far enough to the land bridge and all that crap, you'll figure out where I'm coming from. So I'm watching all these warriors and all these videos to doing the rain dance or the whatever festival it is at the time. And I'm thinking, not just thinking, I'm feeling. I feel the drums, you know, I feel the warrior spirit. And I'm thinking, damn, you know, I've got to get involved in this. So, you know, there's not enough movies about Native American people. There's not enough movies about our legends, our heroes, our tribes. There's not enough remembrance of Sitting Bull and things like that and Geronimo and Hiawatha and any other meal that I've missed. I apologize because my favorite will always be Coyote the Trickster. And you know, there's never really been an aspect of movies or anything to really support these things. And every time you turn around, if somebody makes a story about Bigfoot, well, he's the fucking bad guy. Of course he's the bad guy. Why? Because he belongs to the tribes. Anyway, moving on. So, you know, I'm really trying to get my shit together on this because my heritage of my great-grandmother on my father's side as well as my living grandmother on my mother's side is very freaking important to me that I keep it. There was something that I read under the day and I typed in there, always remember the tribe, you know, Protect the tribe. Always remember the tribe. And protect every tribe. Not just Native American tribes, but every tribe needs protection at one point or another. The only way for us all to not become endangered species is to start working together. The sooner we get it, the sooner the Earth will get it. The sooner the Earth will get it, the sooner we'll all heal. So in closing in that, you know, you guys got to remember that we're all one tribe. We just have different ethnic backgrounds. But our tribes all bleed red. So in that, let's try to take care of each other. Because you just don't know what's out there beyond the stars. I'm James William Shinger. This is Kung Fu Havoc number two. It's also going up on my Facebook page. Be seeing ya.